In June of 2022, Cron was acquired by Notion. Almost an entire year later, they release Cron free for everyone to use rather than it being behind a beta access wall. With the backing of Notion and a year of development, I wanted to have a look and see how Cron compares to what I'm currently using and do a bit of a comparison. Immediately out of the gate, you can see there is a web app. Now, that's nice, but for me, I prefer it being on my desktop so I can bring up the calendar app when I'm in Obsidian with my note taker. And so I downloaded the app and it does work for both PC and Mac, very nice. And it does remind me of Fantastical with its, with its look and it can do all of the basic things you would expect. So we're currently in the week view, there's the day view, the month view, number of days, which is one all the way through to nine, but it also has others. So you can actually pick any set of days that you want and it will show them. So let's pick 13. So it's almost two weeks and you can see there's 13 days. It looks a little bit busy for those that don't use their calendar as much as I do. Uh, and then you can use D to go back to the day view. And that's where the keyboard hotkeys come in. And when you push the question mark, it will bring up a list of all of the hotkeys on the side. You can see there's quite a few, but nothing that you wouldn't expect, really. You have the dark mode and the light mode. And personally, this is far too light. <laughs> it, it, I, I can't really read these just as a dark mode user. There are all the expected keys of copy, paste, cut, undo, tab to move things, enter to use things. So all of the expected hotkeys are there, which is nice. They label them workflow hotkeys, but I also put these in just expected, which is create an event, meet with, sharing availability, all those sorts of things of just generally using a calendar. There's hotkeys for, which again, expected. Something that I use a lot is when you're in the day, you use the arrow keys to go to the right or go to the left. I use this in Morgan all of the time. Uh, and when you're in the week view, so pushing W on my keyboard, you can use the arrow keys to move left and right across the weeks and then go to T for back to today. Where the desktop app starts to get useful, in my opinion, is the system-wide or global hotkeys. At the moment, there are currently two. One of them joins the conferencing globally, so you can join a meeting. At the moment, it's Control-Alt-J. But as you can see on my calendar, I don't really have many meetings. I've got lots of what looks like events in here. And as you can see at the top, it says no upcoming meeting. So I'm rarely going to use that hotkey. And then there is the menu bar calendar. So control shift Q and it brings up essentially an agenda. Now, if I come out of Cron and let's pretend I'm writing in Obsidian something and I push that hotkey control shift Q, it brings up my agenda in the side, which is what I use all of the time when I'm using Morgan. But this is just not as nice. So if I push Alt-C on my keyboard, now I have Morgan, and Morgan is just the entire calendar thing. It's the entire calendar app, and I can go left, right. It's not an agenda, it's the actual app that pops up. So although I do like having the global hockey to bring it up, it's, it's very minimal and not good enough for me at the moment. When it comes to hiding and showing different calendars, you can see over in the left side, it's very similar to Google Calendar. You can just click on whatever calendar that you want inside of the color, and that's what will select. So content, I click in here. Thank you. Uh, and it creates the event. And if you want to hide a calendar, you push on the uh, I, I guess, to hide and show the calendars. Now, again, this is just default Google Calendar stuff, so nothing too special here. But if I come inside of Morgan and come up to my calendar sets, you can see I can map a number to a set of calendars. So if I want to see, for example, my personal work, it's on number one. It shows me all my personal stuff. Planning, I push three and it hides all the calendars that aren't in three. And let's go back to one. And I can jump between calendars much easier with calendar sets. And inside Morgan, I can also change the name of the calendar in Morgan itself rather than having to go to Google Calendar to rename all the calendars which Cron doesn't actually allow me to do. I can't change the name of the calendar inside of Cron. It's just Google. And when going to the Cron settings, so control comma or going up to the top left and going down to the calendars, you can see all you can connect is a Google calendar. So you can't have an Outlook calendar or you can't have a CalDAV or anything like that. And again, that's something Morgan can do. It can connect to any calendar and as many as you want. The main limitation to Morgan is if you want more than one account, so say a Google Calendar account and an Outlook account, then you'd need to pay. But you could just sync all your calendars to one calendar account, so say you've got four Gmails or an Outlook, a Gmail, an account, you can sync them all to one account and then just have that one account inside of Morgan as a, a way around. And then when it comes to customizing the colors of the calendar, so if I click on my private calendar, right click, you can see I've got these, these colors here, default colors, I would say, but that's it. You, you can't have any more colors than this. 
I recognize I'm just going back to Morgan and saying, well, Morgan does this. But in, in Morgan, you can just pick any hex code and that's the color that you have for any of the calendars, which it just gives more flexibility. So Cron, yes, really good, but Morgan does it better. Now over to navigation, Cron has what's called a command menu. So control K and it brings up essentially all of the hotkeys down in this section. So go to, go to today. So if I was to push a dot, and it shows all of the commands with the hotkeys next to them, so you can scroll down and, and find what's going on. So if I push dot, it comes up with a different menu, but it says go to. So this is like activating the command, so we can go to tomorrow, May 16th, and it takes me to tomorrow. But where the command bar comes in use is when you actually activate some of these things. So when you create an event, it creates the event, and that's where you can type in what's called natural language dates. So inside of the date, you can type in three days and it will move three days forwards from today, push enter, and now it's added in three days. So from just looking at Cron, I can push C on my keyboard, which creates an event. I can come over and then type in tomorrow and it will add the event for tomorrow. However, if I go to the command palette, I can't seem to add an event from the command palette saying tomorrow do thing. I, I, I can't type the date and then the thing like you would in Fantastical from my understanding and like you would in Todoist for example. On the other hand Morgan does have that option so I can create an event or a task and say tomorrow tomorrow at 7 p.m. do a thing it's going to save an event to so say do a thing tomorrow at 7 or save a task so let's say save an event and it's going to create the event down here. I'm gonna delete that though. In addition to that, if I'm working inside of Obsidian, I can have the global hotkey, so Control shift k bring up the create task, type in whatever it is, and then add the task in Morgan, then Control shift k to go back away. If you want to quickly make a meeting with Cron, you can push the F hotkey, and so F, it takes you to the quick meeting, type a person's name in. So I'm going to meet with John, Simplicity Specialist, that's his uh, business account, the person I do the podcast with, and I'm going to create a meeting with John. And here we have the event window. It's always on this right side. It doesn't seem to pop up anywhere else. So it's kind of like an inspector window. And you can put the title in it. Start, end, day, all day, time zones, repeats, all the expected things you would have with events. However, when we come down to the conferencing tools, you either have Google or Zoom. That's it. <laughs> Google Meets or Zoom. And when going to the manage conferencing, you can add your Zoom to an event, uh, add a custom link, but it's, it's mainly just those two options. I personally use Zoom and sometimes join Google Meets meetings, but there are people, for whatever reason, <laughs> that use Teams. And Teams, integrated in Morgan, does mean that I get a, a notification, message and stuff, as you would expect, just like Zoom and Meets with Teams, so it's still there. And then there's also Cisco WebEx in Morgan as well, which I don't think I've ever used, but it's there. So Cron are making sure they've got the main ones, the Google Meet and the Zoom, but that's it so far. A note that may sound insignificant, but inside the description there is bold and underlining. So if I type the words in, go in, and then highlight the words Control B, it then makes it bold. If I highlight and go Control U, it underlines, and then Control I, it's italic, which is nice. And yes, Morgan does it all as well. Something I notice inside of the events is you can have it busy or free, but in Google, there's also two other options. There's tentative and out of office, but they don't seem to appear on Cron. And then, of course, you've got the public and the private, which, as you can see, copies the default settings from the Google Calendar. I'm sure by now you can expect, but inside of Morgan, you've got the busy, free, tentative, out of office. They're all there, public and private, they're there. And if you go to the settings, go into the general, you can change the visibility of scheduled tasks to public or private. And I would imagine they're going to do the similar thing for events in the future, but that's not now, just a heads up. But while we're here, you can see default calendar. So when you create a default calendar, you can set one of any of these, or you can make it automatic, which mimics the last calendar. So... Whereas in Cron, you have to select the calendar to make sure the calendar is selected, which, I mean, it's a really small thing, but having it automatically shift between calendars is a little bit nicer than having to come over here and select it. Just small differences. Then something else about the calendar viewing experience just inside of Cron, you can see when I'm scrolling up and down, it always starts at zeros and, and goes to zero, so midnight to midnight, which I can't seem to find a way to change. You can hide and show weekends, declined events, week numbers if you want, start weekday, all, all of this sort of stuff. But there's there's nothing that lets me change the actual like calendar viewing because I'm not awake for, for those hours. I don't wake up that early. Um, so I don't want to see it, but I can't find a way to get rid of it. And then with the all day events, you can see I use all day events as putting projects in. So I know what project I'm meant to be focusing on. And yes, I can hide them and show them, which is great. Morgan can't do that. But I can't actually see all the events. It, it goes beyond a certain number. And then I'm like, I have to scroll up and down. And that ugh, it's just a pain. 
Whereas on the Morgan side, in general settings, you can say, okay, day grid starts at 6, because I'm going to be asleep from midnight to 6, because that's when I sleep, end at 0. And you can see limit events per day. You can see I've set this to 20, because inside the month view, sometimes there are like 10, 15 things going on, because I've just planned the day out, and I want to see them all, and drag them to different days, which in Cron, you just wouldn't be able to do. Because when you go to the month view, it looks just like Google Calendar. It gives you like 12 more, 15 more, 12 more, and it's fine. But oh, give me, give me a second. Come on, I, I scrolled by accident and, and it's lagging because I've got too many events. Sorry, Cron. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm just gonna not touch the mouse. <laughs> um, there we go. It sorted itself out. So, uh, oh God. Okay, it sort of sorted itself out. I'm just not going to touch the mouse at all because it, it seems to lag. It doesn't like this many things going on, but it does continue going all the way down. Uh, literally. Okay, so I just turned off like all my calendars because Cron just couldn't handle it. Um, Morgan can, just as a side note. But when you scroll down, you can see it goes to all of the months, which is quite nice to see the scroll going backwards and forwards. Um, you can go sideways as well. So if I push the arrow key, it goes to the right, to the right, to the left, 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 etc., etc. Um, so it is a nice month view, but like I was saying, the events, you, you can't see any more than, what is it, like four or five, and then that's it, gone. So I'm going to go back to the week view and I'm going to manually add all of these back in. Right, okay, I think of that. And now we get to shareability. And this is obviously for the teams and the business people and the consultants and potentially creators as well, because scheduling meetings with your calendar app is far easier inside the thing rather than using something like Calendly. So pushing S on the keyboard brings up the scheduling thing. And uh, let's do it on Friday and Saturday because it's just easier. Oh, there's that small little delay. I, I don't know what's going on. People were saying Cron's fast. There we go. And when we go to the right hand side, we can have a scheduling link. The day is written out, which is very nice. Of course, we're still restricted by whatever we can use. So let's just keep it to Google Meets. We've got the content calendar. It's on hold, on hold, on hold. So these are the three different sections that it's got. Then when I push create, and then it adds these bars at the side, which is a really nice way of showing the schedules. Morgan doesn't do this. Morgan has a, a different way of doing it. So I really like this. Uh, thank you, Cron. However, at this point in time, you have to actually click on the schedule link and, and send the schedule link out to someone. There's not a, a booking page that you can put on your website, which just shows the scheduling links. And from what I can see, there's no recurring schedule link. So if I go to the next week, the, those things have gone. Like, I, I can't schedule in that week. So I'd have to manually go in and do each day, which seems a bit of a hassle. As a quick side-by-side -side comparison, so you can see Cron in light mode uh, and then Morgan in the dark mode. This is the scheduling tab, uh, and I can see all of the different schedules all in one view. I don't have to click and go in to click and see them, so this is easier for organization for me. There is also a booking page, and you can see there's friendly conversation and consulting. Both of these are public on that booking page, which I can see straight away on my website. So on my contact me page, there's, there's the, the Morgan bit in here, so friendly conversation, and it will load up and say, hey, which, which one do you want to book? And then you can book through whatever you want and these ones are all recurring so they continually move forwards which is why you get that big calendar view and this is the one time link so if i click on the three dots of this one and go to edit morgan link this is the same sort of like edit menu you've got in cron i have zoom create a meeting each time an event is made but inside of morgan there are more options so inside cron there's no way to make it personalized whereas in morgan you can add a name and add an email to the scheduling link sent out the duration is the same the calendars are the same no sooner than uh, doesn't exist in cron and no later than again doesn't exist in cron but then no later than doesn't isn't really needed in cron because it's only a one-time scheduling link so it can't be miles ahead of time unless you've gone like seven weeks that, that would just be painful um so again these things aren't in cron but i think that's because there's no recurring links and i would imagine the buffer is the same sort of thing you're not going to schedule two meetings back to back with the same person through the same link that just seems pointless so these aren't in cron but i would imagine they're going to turn up maybe if recurring links appear i don't know then with the couple of days i've been using cron i haven't found a way to specify more than just like one calendar so in morgan i can say okay only look at my private calendar to see if it clashes don't worry about all of these other calendars but if i want it to see if it clashes with other calendars maybe uh co-worker calendars then i can add that in and into this specific recurring link but Cron just seems to look at every event on my calendar, and I, 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 maybe I'm doing something wrong. Cron users, please let me know in the comments. And as you would expect, when you come to the top, you can then copy it to clipboard and then send it in an email or do whatever, just like every other scheduling calendar app does. Having said all of that, Cron is a great calendar app, but the biggest issue for me is I'm an Android user. I know, oh my word, uh, but Cron doesn't have an Android app. It's only on iOS, so I can't actually use my calendar on my phone, which I do with Morgan all the time. Like, <laughs> Morgan is my most used app on my phone, apart from YouTube and Spotify. 
So if Morgan didn't exist, I would definitely use Kron, but Morgan does exist, and Morgan has some other things, which I'm going to go through now, so if you only came for Kron, bye. You may have noticed the checkboxes inside of my events, and that's not by me, that's by Morgan. Morgan sees these as tasks. Which is why Morgan looks a little bit different, because I can tick all of these off, and I've actually ticked some off this morning, so if I come to the top, week, and then show completed tasks, you can see I've actually completed these things that I needed to get done. But I don't like seeing all of that, so I'm going to hide it, and now I get a clean calendar view with just what I need to do. Then in the sidebar, I can list out all of the tasks that I need to do inside of task list. So this is the inbox, this is the book stuff, the course stuff, content stuff, and I can see those colors inside of each task. So red, the red line is okay, it's on the calendar and the red little square inside says it's in that task so when I come up it's in the content calendar and it's in the content task list whereas inside of this one it's yellow so it's in the animations calendar and then it's also in the uh, content task list something else you'll notice is we've got Google task integration Todoist integration and when we go to the Todoist you can see uh, let's filter this down to a project so we've got the PKM podcast these are the things that John and I do every week they are overdue because meant to do them yesterday but these are Todoist tasks that I can put inside of my Morgan so let's come into here say hey you want to schedule a thing and now I'm scheduling the thing and it's gonna have a fiddle around and then okay yeah you done it and then I'm gonna tick it off inside of Morgan it will tick it off inside of Todoist and then recreate it because it's a recurring task inside of Todoist and it will appear in Morgan when that's done so you can see now due in seven days I am a moderator inside of the Morgan discord so pricing plans so if you have any questions or feature requests or anything like that, come to the Discord and we can discuss it. But Morgan is free, just like Cron, and has more features. The only reason you'd need Plus is if you have more than one calendar or you want to integrate Todoist because Todoist is on the Plus plan. And then the only real reason for getting the Pro plan is if you want more than one recurring scheduling link and you want to remove the white labeling. I keep the white labeling on and you can see everything as you scroll down. But yeah, that's Morgan.